2014 Parks Camber Modelo. In all my years of writing and designing wakeboards, I thought I knew every possible way a wakeboard could leave the wake. Until now, Camber technology. So there's a new thinner tip and tail profile, a new revolutionary cambered arc, and the same hard edging rails that you always have on a Parks Pro model. Well, I went to a thinner tip and tail profile because one, I think it gives you less swing wake, and two, I think it actually helps your tail sit into the water as you're making your hard edges into the wake. The deeper your board sits, then the thinner your rail is, the more bite it's gonna have on your way up to the top. Another characteristic I really like about having a thinner tip and tail is how much it actually bends. When you're on a cable park and you're on a rail, you can actually feel the thinner tip press and actually bend, which makes it more comfortable to nose press. Another thing I like about my thin tip and tailed profile is the dished up snowboard tip I have on it. It makes it really comfortable to actually, when you rock up into a nose press, to have two points of your board on the actual rail, which gives you more stability as you're on the rail. Another thing it does on the wake is that as a, some wakes froth over on top or they get steep, having that little extra bit of lip can be just enough to get your nose over the wake and on your way up to the top. So because I have that dished up nose and tail on my board, it actually allows me to have a flatter rocker line. Having less rock on my board allows me to have more glide speed. Glide speed is that free feeling you can get when you're far outside of the wake and your board just keeps going. One of the most favorite things that has always been about my board is the blend from the surf belly rail in the middle to the thin tip and tail uh, rail in the back. It does two things. It gives you a loose free feeling when you're riding flat like a snowboard would feel and having a thinner tip and tail rail gives you more bite when you're coming into the wake which is what you want if you really want to edge hard. So you really get the best of both worlds. A loose riding board when you go flat and a hard edging board when you're coming into the wake. One of the main things us at Ronix has always believed in is really being able to control the water on the bottom of your board as it gets to the tip and tail. Having a clean belly bottom wakeboard really allows you to know what the water is going to do as it gets to your fins. I feel with this new camber, it's a whole new different kind of kick. You know, in the past to where you would only feel a lot of the kick underneath your front foot, like on three stage boards and continuous, now you have more of a flat spot, more of a kick underneath your back foot, which really, really gives you more of an even kick as you leave the wake. You know, it's just so refreshing to have a new option of the way your board rides. Not to say one's better or one's worse than the other, but to have a whole new option and a whole new way that your board actually rides on the water is, <laughs> that's the most gratifying thing about R&D. It's only a matter of time before you ride a cambered board, so make it sooner than later. Check out more features now. Medallo, the standard of how a light, stiff, high-end, instant energy wakeboard should be made. Based off the same shapes as the ATR counterpart, just a little softer and more forgiving. Park fins, a fin actually designed to be sessioned on rails, wider profile, fatter bottom surface area, and a durable new construction, ready for anything in its way. Also designed for riders that like that finness feel, with a less gratuitous grip on the water. Centered base, the most durable non-stick base material we've ever tested on rails. With our exclusive base, no obstacle is safe on cable parks with our jib-friendly material. Monocoque, stealing technology from our Formula One mates. What happens here is the bottom glass actually wraps around the top, ensuring a stronger flash line, no longer the weakest port, but incredibly stout. Magic Hopper, it has nothing to do with that hot little genie that's whizzing through the air on a rug. Instead, our Magic Carpet is our exclusive fiberglass using materials that try to find that perfect weave allowing just enough resin to bleed through and adhere to our board. Available in four different weights and weaves depending on the size and model. Magic Carpet.